This has been an incredibly difficult piece of work and an incredibly important piece of work. Defence is the first duty of any government and it's a duty as Prime Minister that I take incredibly seriously. We were set, if you like, an almost impossible set of questions. Take a department, the Ministry of Defence, that's £38 billion overspent. Take that department at a time when 10,500 uh, British troops are in Afghanistan. Take it at a time when there's a massive budget deficit, one of the worst in the developed world, borrowing 11% of our GDP. Take those issues and combine it with the fact that we were left some really quite difficult legacy questions by governments in the past about some of the decisions they'd made, uh, not least about aircraft carriers. And we've had to take those issues and try and come up with an answer that does a whole series of things at the same time. That first of all secures our troops in Afghanistan with everything that they need to win that vital battle. That second answers all of the key questions about how we make our defense make sense for the future. That solves the problem of vast uh, MOD overspending and at the same time contributes to getting our budget in balance and getting our national finances in order. And to those people who say, well, of course, uh, defense is one thing, but the economy and savings is something quite different, I would say, no, you're not a strong and well-defended country unless you have strong and well-defended finances as well as armed forces.